Hello guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. And to my returning subscribers, shout out to you guys. You guys are the reason why we do this. I appreciate you all for all the love and support. So today we're going to be doing updates on the current knowledge case. You know, when we report developing stories, we have to come back and update every now and then when we have no piece of information. So the latest gist on the current knowledge case is um, information we got from her friends. They've been sending some recording on whatsapp and i'm going to play that in today's video but first i have to explain what is on the recordings so you know when karen was rushed to the hospital yesterday and pronounced dead the nurses said all the initial signs point to poisoning according to their medical reason at the point in time they said all the signs point to poisoning but however they have to wait for the autopsy result to confirm that it was actually poison that took her life so the autopsy has been concluded but they have not released the results yet so we don't know we are still waiting on them to release the results so while waiting for the autopsy results to come out her friends have come out with another version of the story so these are karen's friends as soon as they heard that she is dead they rushed to her house opened her room started seeing things in the house some of them said they saw um, juju they saw medicine they saw all kinds of voodoo things there and they're thinking that she was practicing witchcraft and some people said they saw charms that she had tied a couple of charms you know how people go to nigeria and buy their kayamata to come and sleep with rich men to make money and all that stuff i don't know which nature of charms they wear they her friends said they went to her house they saw some charms and all those things so that's the part of the message that her friends are giving on the internet today that karen was not straightforward allegedly this is from her friends i don't know them and i don't even have any reason why you should be saying this 24 hours after somebody dies like you're not money your friend she's supposedly your friend you're not crying that she's gone you're not money immediately you're quick to jump and spread bad news about her that oh she was practicing voodoo we went to her house we saw charms first of all who does that they tell you that your friend is dead instead of running to the mortuary instead of running to the morgue to see your friend before they put her in those um, fridges and embalming and whatever they do there instead of running to go sympathize with her or go cry with people there at the morgue or at the hospital you hear that your friend is dead first thing you run and go to her house so it's really funny the way these friends are behaving it's almost like they are so quick to ruin this girl's image even in death they're still struggling to tarnish her name so the friends have gone to the house now they've seen what they've seen and only them they snap pictures took all kinds of pictures now the one who share it to the media the, the girl's family is begging them please don't share the pictures yet please don't share the videos with let's wait for the autopsy result first let's conclude first with the autopsy so the family is negotiating with the friends don't release her pictures yet but the internet now is reacting that how do you guys know that these things belong to karen just because you found it in her house first of all what kind of friend will hear that you're dead and run and go to your house first of all how are we not sure that they're the ones who planted the evidence there i mean if you guys watch csi if you guys watch all these fbi cia movies you see that when the one who set somebody up they run to your house you don't even know they go to your house when you're not there and they start placing things in your house and then after they come and search they see the same things and they start snapping and showing everywhere that hey, see voodoo this person was doing or see drugs this person was taking meanwhile sometimes you're even innocent so the case is just crazy we're having no pieces of information i wanted to bring that to you guys today why would your friend die and you're running to her house instead of going to see where your friend is to go cry to go see the body even see for your own eyes that oh this is my friend finally gone this is my friend lying lifeless in the hospital you did not do that you rushed to her house so the motive behind the case you can see how the friends are actively involved in tarnishing her image i don't know how far that's true so there's another group of friends that have come out to say karen's hands were dirty that where will a 22 year old girl get money to open all these businesses that she spent 11 million francs cfa to open her business where the 11 million francs cfa come from um a 22 year old so they started saying that she has been going to nigeria something like she's sleeping around with rich men others say no she's actually using charms some people say she went and borrowed money from a bad source now it's time to pay you know when you borrow money from bad people you can never pay back you either end up taking your life so there's all kinds of information out here you know as usual i have to bring you guys the update any developing story anytime i hear no pieces of information i to come back and update you guys so that's what's going on unfortunately the thing here is that i'm talking about a dead girl she's lying in the morgue she's lifeless so she cannot justify herself that's the thing her friends are accusing her today of that um, of involving herself in something nasty they are saying that her hands are not clean but where is she at the morgue you're talking against somebody who cannot defend herself so how do we know if this is true how do we know if this is a lie if only karen could talk only she could tell us right now unfortunately she's not here so i also want you guys to keep an open 
open mind everything is possible in today's world we are actively seeing youths involving themselves in things that are more than them more youths are involving themselves in scamming in you know um voodoo and all these um uh, superstitious things so it's possible it's highly possible that what they are saying is true as well as it's possible that it's not true so what do you guys make of this case do you believe what the friends are saying today that karen sans are dirty she involved herself in juju and all that so do you guys believe that or do you believe that her friends are just wanting to tarnish her image barely 24 hours after her death they're already releasing these stories out to the public sometimes even when somebody's hands are dirty yeah, you give the family a chance to cry you give the family a chance to mourn their daughter the innocent image they have of their daughter let them cry and mourn her and bury her face before you come with your own version of the story tarnishing somebody's image like this 24 hours in death like wow anyway so you know they say as we make our bed so shall we lie on it um you share shall you through them whatever you plant that shall you reap so if that's what she planted and she has reaped today it's rather unfortunate that a young beautiful girl like her has lost her life untimely but equally if somebody killed her whatever they've planted in her life taking her life away they too will reap that in future i mean he will lives by who he who uh, uh, lives by then treacherous means like this will die by the same treacherous means so if she was killed whoever did this to her is going to have the same fate upon his own life and you know the sins of the father he will visit both them and their generation so that's the updates we have on this case today i'm going to stop talking now so you guys can listen to um the recordings from her friends and you guys tell me what you think about it in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i remain your girl unana i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe and comment i'll be reading your comments i'll be replying don't go anywhere i'm playing the friends um versions right now you probably saw somebody that ha uh, she already signed her dead things from the early times is she, did you both see that girl like a normal person? I beg, can I leave, please? They need the poison man too. They need the poison man too. If you go, go, go lick Pepe. Pepe go lick you. Pepe don't lick it. We don't talk to you anyway. The team will get to check Nana. And God go accept it for her, for her, for her heaven. Who will start and go just send it for her straight. You know, you would, if you say, you say, judgment day, name they go hell direct. I don't like nothing about her. That girl, she's the one that signed her death though. She signed it like that. That girl has never been a normal girl to me. Somebody that sleeps with a man and a woman and do show show in this life. They always want to dip their hands to get more worth. They are not patient. They don't want to wait for God's time. It's it that is doing them. We will do them more and more. Yeah, she's the cause of her death. I've since the day at the time i heard she died i've been saying that it's not like her because i don't like her because my spirit tells me she's not a clean person even the nurse that that nurse tell me that say as a friend and start can they start ask space on the hospital friend and start talk say this so they want open car in the room they see medications and see knife something like jazz so and if you don't get an issue for money, so the thing when an I commit the suicide, there's see suicidal medications and on life and some jazz. So from them talk how we get you gotta take money for bad house, other kind of stuff then. So in fact no. So when they come up or see to the talk, say you go take some take you go take money for some bad place, they don't start ask money, conditions or other kind of stuff then think they don't mix up because they see they see medicine, they see suicidal medicine, they see knife from a friend in mouth, you know? Tell me they start ask you questions and you give a talk you give a start talk any small so you know about your friend. Even if you don't your friend will never get a thought say one will wash or some water will never get some thoughts say in one it is sick or some kind of stuff that you give a star you give a start talk. I myself now, I'm confused. I don't know anything. I was with Karen yesterday. I'm not sure Karen was poisoned. Karen had an issue. If you get an issue, if you get issue. But what she told me was issue like we needed money. Like she just told me that she needed money, so I just gave her the money to solve the issue. But I don't know what's happening to her. But the issue was really serious from all what I saw. So I don't know. I don't. But she was explained to me. But now I was with her today because I was at work. Now. I'm guessing that she's dead, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm really. Last time, see what happened. 
this girl we don't already involve yourself. If you don't already tell a friend and think the way you he, he don't do them. He go right for Nigeria. If you don't already tell a friend and that we see as for a neck. The pressure we did that money for open that shop. That get open that shop roughly eleven million. You know not so. He, they go for a room, they see charms, they see suicidal mix, they see life. The family don't go check your room. The family don't check your room. If friend they want even post the chat, the family the dynamic, they not post can, their conversation them. He come out with a friend they for go chop. You understand? They go chop together. If friend they be defeating a normal menstrual bite, they don't be even knows at the level that. They don't be no. Because they don't really start give advice on how if you go about which way to involve yourself inside. You understand now when if they start posing chat then so you see after they even post and so one day screen shot and cover them now because we see they be taste hey, wait see, make it calm down no fine pastor if friend they no man no poison me taxi man they explain my own story friend they put inside taxi they fish in a menstrual bite you understand when they tell them to wait already you know the stage where they think they you know they go and talk for that diamond no man no poison me